you're going to go ahead and just see me bulldoze through here right now. And I'm going to do some a little more painting here in the cracks and crevices. Try to even out the background a little bit um, because it really is watermarked. It really is stained and it really is a mess. So, oh, and I also have, here's an inadvertent, you know, I like showing off these things. Um, they have nothing to do with me. They have nothing to do with lesbian, gay, bi, transgender, asexual, questioning, and queer, obviously the editing software and koi watercolors. But I love these koi watercolors. They are neons and they are pearlescent colors. And I just, I love them. See, koi watercolors. And I like to, at least in my imagination, pretend that I have supporters and pretend that I have my own, you know, personal supporters of me personally and of, you know, the lesbian and asexual community, which is what I am. So, and I'm also a big transgender supporter because, you know, I'm not a transgender. I was born biologically female and I like being, well, I hate being female because who doesn't hate being a woman, but, you know, I like being a female, <laughs> you know, I, it'd be nice if I could enjoy it without the periods, but, you know, who hasn't felt like that? I mean, seriously. But yeah, so, okay, here we go. But I was picked on really, really, really hard in elementary school. And I was called a transgender, which I'm not. And I couldn't understand what they were talking about. I didn't know. I didn't know what transgender people were or anything, but they all called me a guy. You know, they all said that I was a man trying to pass as a woman. And it was very, very mean and very, very cruel. Um, and I, they said it back then, um, I'm positive, because that was the most mean and cruel thing that they could say against a preteen and a teenager, you know? So there you go. But yeah, they were treating me bad like that because, you know, their prejudice and I was a Yankee down south at the time in Oklahoma never been down south before in my whole life and they all hated me but because of their bullying you know unlike other people who oddly I, I can't understand it maybe it's being Asperger's but um you know, unlike other people who get insulted and try to further themselves from a community, um, these people were so cruel to me and so evil to me, it actually caused me to be for the transgender community. It caused me to be for the transgender people. Um, oh, that, that looks a lot better already. Yeah. See, now I'm starting to think that I shouldn't have wet this down at all. Now I'm starting to think that my one big mistake in this was wetting the background down instead of just sitting down and patiently and peacefully going at this <laughs> as you're supposed to one layer at a time. I did not do that, and I should have. I really should have. But at least I'm doing that now. And I have to admit, pre-wetting the paper like this and getting the paper going has made it so that the paper isn't nearly as thirsty and I'm able to blend the color a lot better. It's, it's just, it's taken the color a lot better. It is. It's just taking it a lot better all the way around.
get around all her little strands of hair. So yeah, come along and paint with me and enjoy a, uh, you know, paint a superhero. Whatever your superhero is. By the way, I've been, I don't know why, my parents were entirely against Pokemon back in the day because they said that it was little demons. They were, my parents um, are, you know, they were, they won't admit it. They always wanted to say that they were Presbyterians, which is odd because they never went to a Presbyterian church except for once up in Minnesota when I was very young. But they became members of that church and they just called themselves Presbyterians, even though we went to, I mean, we went to every kind of church in the world after we moved down south. Um, yet they just kept the idea that they were Presbyterians, but my parents went, to say the least, they, they joined an occult and they went absolutely batshit insane. But even before that, they were already leaning in that direction and they said, you know, that we couldn't watch certain things on TV because they were demonic, because they were satanic. We couldn't have, you know, and I, I, I just found out about this. There's some celebrity who she also couldn't eat like a uh, lucky charm cereal. Cause it was demonic and satanic. Um, I've, you know, I'm not the only one like that. I've run into other kids in, you know, I mean, when I was young who couldn't have stuff like that because it was demonic and satanic, you know, but yeah, so the stuff that was demonic and satanic and I couldn't have, you know, Lucky Charm cereal, um, the one cereal that had the rabbit on it, there was Count Chocula was really bad. We didn't even look at that one. That didn't exist. Um, that's probably why Count Chocula ended up going down the hole financially because of nutball evangelical parents like mine refusing to even let their kids see such a thing in the aisle literally have to avert your eyes um because you know oh god it's a demon um and you know when you're brainwashed you believe these things and i i believe them you know i mean just like people who are in korea you know north korea and whatnot they truly believe that americans are evil they truly believe that you know and look at the Middle East with the Taliban and stuff. They truly believe that Americans are evil. You know, they're they're evil and they're out to destroy the world and all this stuff. You know, and what it is is brainwashing. It's, you know, point blank brainwashing. It's that country's, you know, and you can do it with political items. You can do it with religious items. And so one of those things that was evil and I wasn't able to do or have any... Oh man, anything to do with, I'm running out of paint. I'm running out of paint. And I don't know. See, I'm taking, here I should probably show this. I'm taking from this palette and I filled this palette up with paint, but now I don't know what paint this came from. This is a hot magenta paint. It's absolutely gorgeous, but I don't know what paint this came from. So I have I have no idea. I have a whole lot of individual paint tubes. And now, you know, that I squirted out onto random palettes like this, and the plastic palettes I have labeled, but this palette, I don't have labeled at all. And at the time, I thought I was going to use that paint up, but clearly I didn't, and I ended up creating quite a lot of it. And now, thankfully, I'm able to be using it up. So... I'm quite glad I'm able to be using it up, but man, you know. So anyway, I'm like flat out completely out of that paint. Um, I can't believe it.
Well, just to just to finish the conversation here that I was doing, um, you know, I'm just going to add water. Here we go. I'm going to add water to this paint. I'm going to add water to the well and stretch it out as best I can. And then I am just going to, you know, do what I can. <laughs> And I think off camera here, definitely off camera, it's going to have to be off camera. I am going to go ahead and try my best to find that paint <laughs> and refill it. Of course, by then I might not have to worry about it. I might not have to because I might be able to stretch it well enough because watercolor is quite pigmented. Well, okay, some watercolors are quite pigmented. But, yeah, this one, yeah, it's not. It is It is along the cheaper lines. Okay, that means that more than likely this is my Shin Han, which is what I suspected it was. I could be very wrong, but it might be my Shin Han watercolor. Of course, it could also be my Magello, Magello Mission Gold watercolor. I really like that one. And I know that I left... that one out. You know what? I actually know where my Magello Mission Gold watercolor is. I'm going to go ahead and if I don't edit this, if I'm not able to edit this, uh, I apologize for the long pause, but just in case, cause this battery isn't great. Um, you know, so yeah, my parents saw oddly enough, Digimon is called digital demons. But well, my parents were fine with my brother and sister watching that, but they were totally against them watching Pokemon. And they said that Pokemon is evil and demonic. Well, now I'm kind of wanting, as a 40-year-old adult, to explore what the hell this Pokemon was. And looking back, I realize why. They never said why, because sex didn't exist in our house. You, you couldn't talk about it. It didn't exist at all in any way, shape, or form. So, um, you know... So that's, that was one, that and politics, you know, you couldn't talk about it in our house at all, um, along with many other things. Because, you know, children aren't supposed to know about that. So, which is a bit nuts. That's actually looking pretty good. So anyway, to get back to the point, I'm thinking of actually doing some Pokemon characters. So if any of y'all out there want to see Pokemon characters, let me know. I'll go ahead and do some. Um, you know, just to just to get to explore what I didn't get to explore as a kid. You know, my brother and sister were really big into, into Digimon, but they weren't allowed to have anything to do with Pokemon. And now that, you know, I mean, it's a childhood thing. It's long past gone and looking back at it i now realize that i think the reason that and it was because of my mom she probably said no pokemon because the girl uh in the original pokemon this is way back in the 90s you gotta re remember this was this was from 1990 till like i don't know 2003 is when my world completely changed so that's 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 the period of time when I was home and had anything to do with my family before I, for a short amount of time, was able to break off any contact with them, more, more or less, not really at all, I realize now. But, you know, from 1990 till about, actually it was like 2002, uh, yeah, that's from this time period. So the original, there was like a Brock... And I think the main character was Ash, and he was the one collecting Pokemons. And then there was a girl, and I can't remember her name, but she wore suspenders. And she was dressed rather uh, scantily. And they were, like, really showing off her skin. 
from what I can recall and from what I have seen looking back over my childhood, because thank God you can actually call this up on the internet now. But I understand and I realized that it was my mom's doing that she was like, I'm not letting the kids see a woman, you know, a little girl dressed like that. That's terrible. And so she, they were actually, it wasn't demonic at all. They're just against it because of the quote, sex appeal or unquote, or whatever you want to call it. I mean, it's a kid's show. It has nothing to do with sex at all. But my mom didn't like it because of the way they were, I guess, showing off the girl or something. I have no clue at all. It was really weird. So, yeah. So there's that. <laughs> I don't know. But that's my best guess. What they used to say, and what they will still say today, is that, oh, Pokemon is demonic. It's my dad even said, oh, it's talking about little demons and having little demons in your pocket. What is that all, that all about? So, yeah. <laughs> so there you go. Having little demons and having little demons in your pocket. What's all that all about? And dad didn't like the idea of Digimon or Pokemon, but mom gave in the Digimon. So there you go. Whatever. And I just now realized that this is at the 25 minute mark. So that's, that's more than long enough for this painting. And that's more than long enough for this whole little thing. I'm going to finish this off up off camera. And um, thank God I was able to finish at least one line of thought, <laughs> one train of thought there. So there you go. Um, and yeah, bye, bye until the next one. And the next one I'm going to go ahead and do in orange. I'm going to do, let me see, I'll show you. The next one, I'm going to go ahead and fix up this name area and all this stuff offline. And then I'm going to go ahead and sit down and paint all the background of this one up. Uh, so there you go. So thanks for stopping by with me, and thanks for hanging out and listening, and I'll see you to the next one. Bye!